Hello and welcome to another tutorial. My name is Joseph and today as you can tell from the title we are going to learn how to create a table by using Adobe Illustrator. We will be creating a table like this and in case you have been wondering how to create a table using Adobe Illustrator, whether you are designing a flyer and you need to do some pricing or whatever you might be designing that needs a table. I'm going to show you how to create a table in a very simple way. Let's get started. The very first thing we want to do is to navigate to the toolbar and select the rectangular grid tool. In most cases, it won't be the first tool. Uh, you might find the line segment to be the first tool. So you want to click and hold until you can see the rectangular grid tool as one of the tools. You want to select it and you click anywhere that you want to start creating a table I'll just click once and when you do that this pop-up will be here so basically here is where you you outline the number of rows and columns that you want so what what is important or what I would advise that you you check here is if you want a table with four rows you want to be sure that the horizontal divider or the 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 rows here are not four they are three because this uh, adobe illustrator happens to add an extra row uh, by default so if you want four rows you indicate three if you want four uh, four columns or five columns you indicate four basically you minus one uh, you can uh, select some other settings here use outside rectangle as a frame you can select that or deselect if you depending on how you want it you can also choose if you want to fill your grid in this particular case i want to fill my grid so i'll say it and okay once i hit okay i'll have a table with four uh, rows and five columns let's see if that's the case so we wanted four rows these are one two three four yes and we wanted five columns one two three four five just to as a reminder if you want for if you want a certain number of rows when you are filling this particular you are filling this pop up here here you have to minus one so that you get the exact number of rows that you want so if you want five rows for instance here i want six rows so i'll say five rows and i want two columns so i'll say one and the reason is because Adobe Illustrator by default adds an extra uh, row and column. So when you say okay, you'll see the kind of the kind of table that we have gotten here. Okay, it has two columns: one, two. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, six rows as you wanted. I hope that is clear. So now in this kind of table, um, you can do a lot of things. Uh, for instance, you can remove uh, if you, for instance, you don't um, this particular column. You can double click on that divider and you delete. And now you have three columns. You can even change the color of this. Uh, and the way you do that, you navigate over this particular section and you can toggle. You can change. Right now. Your table is still there. It has some dividers. When you click, you can see them. You can navigate to stroke to see the difference and to be able to see your, your, your table. You can choose a different color for stroke. I'll choose white so that you can see the table. The table is still there. So basically, you can change the color. You can double click and choose the particular color that you want. Uh, for instance, probably I want that pink or what and you can still uh, see your table is there if you don't want your table to be filled you can toggle again or you can change here all right and now the color will go to the stroke and the main table will be filled if you want to change the color of the stroke you will get here to stroke and you change to change it to whichever color okay so that's how you create a table using adobe illustrator and as you can see it's so easy 
and now you can go ahead and use this table for your pricing or whichever function that you wanted you intended to use for a particular table in case you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section if you in, if you love this video if you love this video so please hit subscribe and share and welcome again tomorrow for another simple tutorial on how to use adobe illustrator see you and bye bye